The second campus-wide forum on sexual assault was held Monday. Community members gathered to continue the conversation and answered questions raised at the first forum held in late April. The university is trying really hard to respond to what's the most pressing questions, and I thought that last night we did a good job of responding to the sticky notes from the first forum. And uh, like I said in, during the forum, it's hard to explain comprehensively about a process that gets slightly tweaked for every unique case. Members of the Title IX Working Group helped to lead the conversation, explaining different policies and conduct rules and answering concerns that were raised from audience members. Many found the forum to be a good start in transparency and change for the future. I thought it went pretty well. I was involved in the kind of the planning stages of both forums, so I think it was hopefully a good follow-up on the first forum to talk a little bit, um, people to process some of their suggestions, um, and for the conduct experience or the conduct hearing process to be explained is really confusing. Um, I don't know if necessarily everyone's walking away knowing exactly how it works, <laughs> but it's at least a step in the right direction, um, and I think it shows that the campus is willing to have these conversations and willing to like change. I feel like there's hope, which is good. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I feel like they're finally listening, which is really good because when I brought this up four years ago, they pushed me under a rug. So being able to like have Mia's blog like really take hold, and even though we're receiving really bad backlash right now, um, and a lot of things are happening. Um, I feel like there's still a lot of hope because the university has finally picked it up and said we're going to do something about this, like that this matters. Currently, the Title IX Working Group will be sitting down to address the results of the past two forums and will release a report at the end of the semester detailing policies, action plans, and a timeline for the university in dealing with this issue.